Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. My name is Heliax and we are here in Serpent's Crown. We just turned in the last bounty to Binti? Binti? Was that his name? I don't think that was his name. But we did his last bounty. Um, and we've also, we also killed Lord Admiral Imp. And uh, did some other things. We also entered a relationship with Maya. So that's kind of cool. Um... But we are now going to go kill some people. Woo! We've got a couple of bounties here in Nakataka to do. One is actually in Serpent's Crown. We're looking for Lady, es Lady Esparrow's estate. So that's where we're going now. Let's go ahead and head on over there. We've got this bounty to do. And then we have one in the Sacred Stairs to do as well. And I believe that will be it for the, the pirate gang, right? I think so. So when we ever return the dunnage, we can turn those in. And get hopefully some, some pretty decent money. That is assuming we actually are able to kill these people. <laughs> uh, Lord Admiral Imp was Lord Admiral Imp wasn't too difficult. Um, compared to the uh, the big ogre dude. For what do you enter my home uninvited? This is my estate, not a beachside hut. A sparrow holds your gaze as she begins to draw her weapon. I'm here for the bounty on your head. You invite this information so freely. Is it your first time? Gritting her teeth, she advances. No, it's not my first time. Nor will it be my last time. Unfortunately for you. Go ahead and get him summoned. Takehu. Let's go ahead and get him summoned. Ow. You were saying? Uh, Maya, go ahead. Mark of the hunter on them, and then do yes. that shot. Ala. You know what? We might as well. Ishi. Uh, let's delay your turn. Here we go. Because I want to see... Okay, we do have some melee people. We do want them to get up here. All right, Adir. I'm going to have you try to knock him down. I think it might be tough because he's got the... It was not tough. Good. Perfect. Let's build your ally. Andre's whip. Knock him down. Very good. We got a dog. I don't want to kill the dog. Two dogs. Don't tell me there's three dogs. No. All the dogs. Is she? Go attack him. Alright, we need to get Takehu out of there. Good. That'll help out. Yeah, this fight doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. If I'm being honest. Let's go ahead and buff. Oh. Ala. Go, go ahead. Hit him. Takehu. Get you paralyzed. That's not good. I'm listening. Maya, keep firing at a sparrow. She doesn't have a lot of health, so she'll go down pretty quickly. I think. Um, go ahead, blind this guy. That got the kill. It's probably really good. We got the kill on him. Imagine he's probably pretty good. Good damage there. Knock the war dog back. Or just do some damage, I guess. At your service. Alright, Takehu. Oh. Uh Klesia. They're all lined up for it. Let's go ahead and do that. Aloth. Do one of these on him. Good. Is she kill him? Perfect. You were saying? Finish her off. Damn, it didn't work. Um, Eddie. Good. Got the burning there. Turn onto the dog here. Andrew's whip. Good. Good. 
Okay. TK who start doing damage. I don't want you casting because he might interrupt. And we don't want that. And fire at them. One dog down. Who's got the mark now? You do. Tell me. Aloth, go ahead and do one of these on him. Captain. Maya. Good, good bit of damage there. Go up here, blind him. Good, he's down. Spiritual ally. Yeah, this was a this was an easy one. Comparatively. There we go. Guess we can loot this place too. Which is nice. Soul Void Necklace. Plus one intellect grants the effect of White Leaf after a rest. Interesting. White Leaf is a drug, isn't it? This dragon pendant is actually an intricately carved pipe of the type traditionally used to smoke White Leaf. It is carved from what can only be a scale from the great Audra Dragon. How did she get that? Uh, meticulous care was taken to fashion wide, toothy mouth, a wide, the wide toothy mouth which serves as the pipe's bowl. The small dragon seems to be both roaring and smiling, hungrily demanding to be packed and lit. The pipe was the personal paraphernalia of Jerelv Ger of Jerelv the adult, a wizard and animancer known not only for his love of white leaf, but also his obsession with its effects on the soul. His aloof and cruel nature led him to perform many questionable acts in his attempt to comprehend higher states of consciousness. He had a proclivity for stealing the souls of his associates and acquaintances, usually by inviting them to partake in poisoned potent white leaf. His victims would, di his victims would die, and their souls, disoriented, would linger briefly. Uh, Jerelv would then trap them in his favorite pipe. He, only, he always planned to conduct experiments on the souls of those who died in such a state, but often got distracted or just forgot. Jarelv came to a fitting end when, while not precisely in his right mind, he mistakenly smoked a batch of his own blighted white leaf and died. His spirit, confused, wandered into the pipe of its own, vi of its own volition and has been unable to find its way out. It has plenty of company. Interesting. Yes? All right. Yeah, that was uh, a pretty easy one. Maybe we did the hardest one first. Let's get and loot this place. We got ourselves uh, an estate too, if we want, right? Can't we take this over? The carving of Ngati is meticulously detailed for this, from the scales on her legs to the fine points of her teeth. Go ahead and take this. What have we here? Ooh, a fancy book. I feel like the uh, the things we find from our perception checks aren't really ever that great. Like they're just some scrolls, and maybe they're really good scrolls, but still, they're just scrolls. All right, well that's that one down. We've got one more to go. I actually thought that was going to take a lot longer. Maybe the next one will take longer. This one is in the Sacred Stairs. Right? Uh, we've done that one. We've done that one. We do need to do Family Pride, too, while we're here. It's this one. K Katrin. Travels the Sacred Stairs in Nikitaka and Kel Katrin. She only frequents the district at night. Well, luckily for me, well, I guess... It might not be night when we get there. Tekehu, must you practice your chant so loudly? Songs are for singing, my friend. If they bother you, I will find one more to your liking. Songs are for singing. Okay, south exit here. The sacred stairs. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just take me there. Take us an hour to get there. Almost two hours. Hopefully it'll still be nighttime.
It is. Awesome. Takehu, if you keep tugging on <laughs> that, I fear you'll pull it clean off. My tentacles enjoy a good tug. Oh, God. I try not to take them by surprise after last time. Okay, Takehu. <laughs> hey, so where is this girl? She's just out and about, right? Who are you? Hunter, do you come to serve your coin bond? Still hunting. The coin bond is patient. It knows that you... I will be here when you... The coin bond, huh? Surprise, get your supplies here. Diablo. I remember you either. All my profits go toward keeping the machine. Have a look. What do you got? Oh, you actually have some stuff. Um, the amazing and truly incredible instant po potion belt. Alchemist cash. Summons a random potion into an empty quick slot. That's kind of cool. Let's buy that. And a Kura's kettle. Boil over. 10% chance to cast boiling spray at enemy when where when where is critically hit in melee. Plus one burn armor rating and grants health hearth and home. Teleports to an ally's location. Oh, that's kind of cool too. I want it. And an animancy cat. Give me. Oh, I don't have the money. I'm broke. Never mind. <laughs> we'll come back later. It sucks when you're shopping and you realize you have no money. I think I might have seen her over here. I saw a group of people down this way. Oh, no, there she is. Okay, she's got constructs. Bleeding me dry. All I needed was a few damn components. The woman mutters to herself, glancing resentfully between the constructs that surround her. What are you doing here? What? I haven't the time necessary to illuminate you. Be on your way. Can I not have her be the one that goes in? Can I go talk I with do? you? Bleeding I can, good. Dry. All I need Oh, not this again. There's a dozen of you fools in every city. Okay. Are the guards going to attack us too? I feel like they should attack us this time. Because we, we initiated this. Oh, put him there. Ala, we're going to want... The tentacles up here. Ishi. Go ahead. Try and keep him occupied. And a deer. Not catching down. Oh, the guard is coming in. Fuck me. That's annoying. <laughs> the guards join. What is this guy doing? Get out of here, man. Alright, those guys aren't going to do... It's going to be tough to kill them. Really? Really? Like they just wandered in. Spiritual guard over there. Stop that. Okay. Why does she get to go first? It's not fair. Um, let's go ahead and do one of these. And... Go ahead and do one of these. Right there. To Kehu. Do an ocean burst. And we got a spear. Captain. Maya. Uh, you're gonna change targets. You take these guards down. Alright, so she's almost dead. You can turn your attention to him now. Did a lot of damage to that construct there. That's good. Katrin's dead. So we could get get her stuff and run, right? Don't imagine they're gonna be too happy about this, are they? Yeah. Hmm. 
Um, Eddie, do you have like abilities to like hurt these guys? Can't make a dent. So that kind of does. Hmm. Is there a way to like see what these guys are, are weak against? Hold shift for more information. Um. Stop that. Um. Immunity to poison, immunity to disease, persistent distraction. Hmm. Immunity to fire. So. Bludgeoning looks like the best thing. And maybe well not 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 lightning and fire are not good. Let's go ahead and cast this on, on this group. To Kehu. A blast of frost. How may I help? Allah. Ah, What's on your mind, Maya, you're going to strike. Can't get a clean Good. hit. You're gonna keep trying to penetrate them. Did I ever give you a second weapon? I don't remember. There you go, that's good damage. Ow. Andre's whip. Damn. Not Mark! Mark, get out of here! Damn it, Mark. All right, Allah. This guy's almost dead. Kill him. Mark, no. Yours to command, Captain. Can't believe you did that, Mark. Speak freely. Who's got the hunt now? You do. Okay. Um, go ahead and kill Mark. Got this, Captain. Yeah. I've lost reputation with the Wana. No. It's not my fault he came in and attacked me. Thing isn't doing the job. Okay, that was a waste. Or I guess it hit him, so not not totally a waste. Now we gotta find a way to kill these guys. Alright, tentacles are about to disappear. Good, they gotta kill. Before their end. Oh, I've been cool if we could have knocked him down. This is gonna hurt. It did hurt, but luckily it wasn't actually too bad. Gonna put that on all of them. Ishi, attack. Maya. There was good damage. Show me where to bite. Miss. I don't like that. You're not supposed to miss. Slowly but surely. Allah. Then hit him with that. At least there weren't as many guards this time. Stop missing. I swear to God. Okay, let's go ahead and do this on him. How may I help? Try again. Ishi. Keep going. You 
were saying? Maya. Pretty decent damage there from that. Your story. This does not no work. pen, okay. We're running out of penetrating strikes for him. These guys are far too strong. We got two ironclads. That's a steel one, so he's probably even stronger. Which is annoying. There's the damage we like to see. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. <laughs> Hmm. This is, uh... Wait, what? Smart inspiration. Acute inspiration. I thought we had, like, a, um... No, we have this one. I guess we'll give that to you. Alright, Alaf, so we're out of those. Go ahead and hit him with this, then. Get a bit of damage. It's helpful. It's not very helpful, but it's helpful. At your service. All right, Takehu, there has to be something else we could do. Ink Chill Fog works well on them. We can try it. Last penetrating strike. This thing isn't doing the job. Uh oh. Oh, Andre's whip. I just took some damage there. I did a little bit of damage and blinded him. We'll take a blind. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, go do one of those. How may I help? All right, do another one of these. This is futile. Good. Maya, can you kill it? He interrupted it. That's good. Good, we got a kill. Alright, go ahead and blind him. There's a little bit of damage. Are they helping me? That'd be very kind of them. They are devotees of Malgren, so they should help me. As I am Malgren's favorite. Okay, put that under them. That makes no difference. Um, everything makes a difference, buddy. What else do we got? Conjure Greater Blight. We could do that. Conjure that on him. Ishi, get in there. I'm here. Go ahead. Hit him with that. Um, can you heal? No, we need more of those things. Good. So this guy's almost dead. Almost dead. Come on. Oh, they're just... They're not actually fighting. Okay. That's fair. I mean... They're not fighters. I don't know if putting him there is actually a good idea. Let's go ahead and heal. So Ishii doesn't die. Aloth, what else do you have? You have this. Good. Maya. You're going to use one of these. What's on your mind, Little Ishii. Yeah. Um. Hobble him. Can't make a dent. It looks like she's like he's healing him. Stop that. Oh, did I give her to the blight because of that? Damn it. Speak your mind. I should have thought about that, huh? It will be so. Back up. And do this. Um, is she attack? Slow and steady wins of the race, guys. Can okay, cast that? Oh. Concussive this one. 
Give me one of these. Come on. There we go. Something I can do. A deer. Might as well. This thing isn't doing the job. A little bit of damage there. A little bit of damage there. A little bit of damage there. Yours to command, Captain. Yours to command, huh? I command you. Cast Blizzard. And for you. Um. Just attack. That's quite a bit of damage there. Tell me. Uh, what else do we have left? Um, go ahead and do this on him. That might help a little bit. Yeah. A deer. Something I can do. Penetrating strike. Not even close. Can't miss. Come on, man. Speak your mind. All right, DK. Who don't really have a whole lot left to use. How may I help? Try using chain lightning on him. I think he's resistant to lightning, but we'll see. Oh, good shot. We're getting there. Come on. This thing isn't doing the job. Forty-six damage. It's not bad. Not bad. Go ahead and heal. He's taking some damage over time too, which is great. Yes. Um, might as well heal the back line too. You need something. Uh, Blizzard. Alright, Alloth. Don't have a whole lot left to do. Can I thread the needle here? Probably not. Um, in that case. Just bounce off walls, harming anyone in their path. Nah, I don't want to do that. I guess we'll do this one. Uh, Maya, you'll just fire. Yeah, it's not... It's not great damage, but, you know. Good bit of damage. Good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's getting ready to first powerful attack. Good. Oh. Classia, you'll just fire. Very well. How may I help? We're not going to be able to interrupt him. Oh, God. Lord have mercy. Uh, I guess summon the tentacles again. Get this done. Knock him down. That'll help a little bit. Just uh, overwhelm them with sheer damage. Yeah, three, ooh, ten damage there. Nice. Yes. How dare you? All right, you're just gonna fire. No, this is futile. These are the times where I kind of wish you could just like switch in and out of uh, turn base. Because yes. there's no doubt we're going to win. It's just a matter of time. Look at that. Summoning the tentacles mattered. Good. Oh, I forgot to read the other map fragment. Quest item. This this piece of tattered parchment shows the familiar waters and land masses of the Deadfire Archipelago. Without the other pieces, it's impossible to tell. A note is scribbled in the margins. Katrin. 
If you're reading this, then I've surely fallen. See to it that the others remember their pledge to safeguard the map and our hard-won hard -won spoils. The imp is especially prone to forgetfulness. Your occasional subject, Captain Hinqua. She also had a grimoire. Okay. That should be in here. Katrin. Where's the other ones? Beza. Oh, Lady Esparrow. Uh, Esparrow. As my parting wish, I ask that you give the others at least a fortnight before you send your dogs after them. I know you're in, you're in need of coin, but allow the allow them the courtesy of a, a head start. I buried that treasure for for us to share. Assemble the map. We have the map now. The stitched together approximation of a map points the way to a remote island. Illustrations of squat huts and the name Junvik Village stand out with prominence. The northern coast, however, is adorned with the scribbled likeness of a skull. Spartery letters encircles the landmass to spell out the name Drowned Barrows. Merely holding the parchment fills you with a sense of dread. When you run your thumb over the skull, your pulse quickens like a beating of a drum. That's nerve-wracking, huh? Oh, Elof wants to talk. talk. You look like you have something on your mind. He sits his head, listening patiently. You don't seem to be getting along with Takehu. I'd like your thoughts on my search for Aethus. What do you want to? What do you know about the Vading Trump? Vading Trailing Tree Bailey and Trading Company. Do you have any thoughts on the Principi? I like your opinion on the Juana leadership. What do you think of the Royal Deadfire Company? Did you ever make it back to Adir? How are you holding up? Um, you don't seem to be getting along with Takehu. Color flushes his cheeks. Uh, small wonder I was a terrible spy. Am I truly so obvious? He shakes his head, seemingly to himself. Suddenly, a look of aggravation flickers through his face. His features contort into a fiendish parody of himself. Bookish lad like ye can feign dull. He's stewing on the fish scale one. Is Isomir's voice is high with exasperation. Five of the days when a bashing fixed all. She sounds uncharacteristically tired. Isomir, your explosive temper creates as many problems as it solves. You just don't stick around for the aftermath. Anyway, it does seem Takehu and I have gotten off on the wrong foot. We're all in this together. I can't have my crew divided by petty grudges. Whatever you're feeling, you need to put them aside and work with him. Speak plainly with me, Eloth. We won't get anywhere mincing words. You're clearly distressed. Perhaps taking it, talking it through would help. I speak plainly. Where to begin? He rolls his eyes. He thinks some skill with water and a head of tentacles make him Andra's blessing on land. Fie, there is some kindness in the gods to give us such a spectacle. Esimir twists Alas' lips in a brief smile. Do you think his trunk is always wet, or does it just shine so? Suppose the rest of his hair is squirmy, even the parts? <clears throat> I'm certain <laughs> he's a perfectly good entertainer, but I have my doubts about his reliability. He folds his arms. He's traveling new territory with a bunch of strangers. He'll adjust. He's loud and boastful, and you don't like that. So he's naive. That comes with being young. And completely sheltered and coddled. It's very different from your experiences growing up. He hesitates, momentarily caught off guard. Perhaps not, but I hardly see what that has to do with anything. He bristles, drawing his shoulders straighter and tugging at his sleeves. I apologize for any unseemliness on my part. This won't become a problem, I promise. I'm not sure he uh, liked that conversation. <laughs> I shall. It wasn't necessarily on his side there. I do think that... Yes, he is who he is, but that's, you know. Some people just don't get along, you know? Okay, so that's all the bounties done. So now we're going to go down to the estates here. Uh, we'll start with the Bardado estate. It takes almost four hours to get there. I do want to go out into the island, too, before we leave. There's that one zone in the southwest of this island that we didn't go to because it was a high level. So I want to go check that out. All right, the Bordado Estate. There's Laro. I'll 
out for trouble or taking in the sights? Uh, neither really. As you like. Hospitality? Hospitality. Gotta love it. Uh, Nira? Laro has returned to the estate intact. Belfetto. Nira loosens her grip on her ledger. Too much Bardato blood has been spilled in the name of Vengiata. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, vengeance, okay. Tell Laro to stay out of trouble. I get the feeling that there's still some unfinished business. Fuck. Nothing has been solved. Only delayed. Here. For your Ooh, discretion. thank you. She passes you a patch of coins and adds a short mark to her ledger before snapping it shut. You have not met Mother, have you? Nira thumbs her chin, leaving a spot of ink behind. I'm certain she'll have work for someone invested in the family. I'm sure. Is that... is this where she's at? Ah, yes. The newcomer. I thought you might visit. Hello. Lady Izali Bardato. Custom dictates, I say... At your service. But I have not the time for such lies. She regards you with a cool expression, but stands with a fighter's poise. You saw my son dueling with the Valera boy. At least he survives to learn from his mistakes. When Valera and Bardato cross each other, only blood and sorrow remain. Azali sighs, her gaze turning away. Do you see your family is ever making peace? Perhaps in time, if Great Wodica judges us worthy of supporting the company, word has spread fast about the little spectacle at the docks. You've certainly caught everyone's attention. Perhaps the Watcher of Cadnua and House Bardato can help one another. What is it you want? Queen's Beth whispers of a Valera plot against my family. Something grander than pointless jewels. You are a newcomer to the dead fire, uniquely positioned to loosen Valera tongues. She taps her chin and regards you thoughtfully. Zilly Valera strums a lute by the watchtowers, a meek tempered boy, fonder of song and drink than the family business. He might spill something of his family's affairs. I'll go and see what I can get out of Zilly Valera. Put in a good word for me with the Valian Trading Company and just deal. You want me to rough them up? What if there is no plot against the Bardatos? Wouldn't the governor take an interest in this treachery? Yeah. The governor is interested in how much luminous Adra we can export. Nothing else matters. To that end, I look forward to the day when we won't need Valera thugs backing our interests. What if there is no plot? Then I will sleep better at night. Azali shrugs, her brow furrowed. My hopes do not hinge on being proven right at every turn. I'll go talk to him. Try not to alert the Valeras of our knowledge. That is the point of involving an outside agent. About this feud of the Valera family. Fratello doesn't make my affairs any easier with his wayward ambitions. Azali motions for you to continue. Would you be willing to speak with Otello? Oh dear. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? She stifles a chuckle. You think I'd put myself in pistol range of that old imp? Maybe I could speak with him on your behalf, convince him to see reason. I suppose it's not your honor, I doubt. I have little objection to discussing the matter. I simply doubt Otello will listen. Okay. Speak Hold on. up. My business never sits still for long. Azali plants one hand on her hip and gestures for you to speak. Your family seems very well established here. Ugh. My bank shoulders the costs of the Valian Trading Company's operations in the Deadfire. It is said that no Valian may wipe themselves unless a Bardato signature approves it first. Interesting. Uh, if that's true, we gotta stop shaking hands with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain you've touched worse, farmhand. Azali's mouth twitches, just shy of a smirk. Okay. Why are the Bardatos and the Valera feuding? Because we do not belong in the same business. The Valeras are opportunists reaping the rewards of happenstance. And you're not? They're little better than the pirates they're charged with slaying. Mm -hmm. You notice something unusual. 
Your attention is drawn to Azali's desk. Among the assorted ledgers and d documents sits a brass seal, still dripping with heated wax. The drippings have dried into an almond-shaped pattern which resembles the shape of an eye, an eye fringed with bird feathers. A, uh, nictitating? This, I don't know that word. Membrane flicks across the, its surface it, it, in a barely perceptible wink. Are you still with me? Azali breaks your focus by waving her hand in front of your face. She glances between you and her tidy desk frowning. Your desk. The eye. She glances back at her desk again, this time with impatience. I'd venture that you're working too hard. Uh, farewell. Okay. Any other, uh... Ooh, a vault. I know who I'm siding with. Gotta get the money. Oh man, it's nice down here. The guard captain takes his time moving to the barred doors. They're not barred. His armor creaking with every step. He praises you with a lazy sweep of the eyes, while his fig fingers curl casually about the hilt of his blade. Welcome to the Bardato Vault. You have an appointment, madam? I was just exploring. Deverus? Just exploring the vault that holds the Bardato fortune? Yes. Per complanca. Go upstairs before I have to sully my lady's tiles. The captain makes a hurting motion with his arms as he shepherds you towards the stairs. Okay. I doubt you'd have the skill necessary to... I guess you would be selling it because your blood would get all over the place. Haha, <laughs> I'm so clever. Okay. Uh, what did you ooh. find, Oh, no, no, no. But I'm keeping what's in there. Hold on, you know, just a little, just a little peek, right? We can't actually do it, right? As long as I don't get caught. Oh, we're we using lockpicks to do it. See, look, when we find things, it's never anything like super amazing, which is unfortunate. What's this? These these dower portraits seem to observe your movement up and down the corridor. So is Wodoka, like, watching over this family? Is that what the eye thing was? Probably, huh? So if you have enough lockpicks, I'm assuming you can actually do this without somebody with mechanics, right? You just have to buy a lot of lockpicks. Which I guess that's not terrible. Especially if you can find a place where you can buy a lot of lockpicks. And they're not too expensive. All right, well, let's go talk to the Valeris. Spill the beans. This is ridiculous. Bunch of grown adults having a feud like this. <sighs> Disgusting. And I do believe this one is upstairs. This leader, head of the household. So they're bankers and these guys are like not privateers necessarily, but like maybe they are privateers. I don't know. The Am military I branch. To train any? They listen to you. I do. I hear you witnessed an unfortunate exchange behind the Adra Mill. Atello aims a troubled look at Martino. You kept Laren also from the beyond. We could use such a mediator. Martino has need of muscle and brains outside of the Valera house. Attila frowns toward his son. Uh, I, tell me about the job. Let me take point on this one, father. Martino pats Attila on the back and turns to you with a more severe business-like expression. Some royal deadfire crews have lately taken to pirate hunting. One such crew has been boasting of their victories near the wild mare. Singing their rower tie songs and making our clients anxious. Perhaps you've heard a few. Martino looks at Maya, his crooked smile going flinty at the edges. If songs make you people anxious, I can't wait for our next battle. Hunting principi dogs is our business. With all these problems with the Baldatos, now is not the time for competition from the Brass Citadel. It would be better if they took their business elsewhere. When, Ar when Artello isn't looking, Martino draws his thumb across his throat. Oh, very subtle, Martino. 
I see now why your family is doing so well. Maya folds her hands. I'll talk to these sellers for you. I'll do it, but I want the Valiant Trading Company to know where I was helpful. And don't you have uh, stooges who handle this sort of thing? Do your own killing, coward. I'll talk to them. Wise. Though sometimes talking ends with a good bruise. Parfito. I am sure the words of the Great Watcher will save the day. Martino punctuates his sing-song mockery with an exaggerated sigh. Make sure those royal bastards understand the Queen's birth is Valera territory. Okay. Adu, what brings you to the hall of the Valeras? You're having some kind of trouble with the family next door? Ach, the Bardato Bank shuts us out of investments and stifles our finances. This is the richest prospect on Iora, but we cannot grow our family business. Ezali is a rich thug, and someday she will get what's coming to her. Um, let's talk. If we must. What is it? Ezali wants to strike a peaceful arrangement. After everything that she... Madiko, what is she planning? You're not considering this? The Bardatos have nearly ruined us! Shut up, Martino. Enough, Martino. I will not let our families tear each other to ribbons while I can avoid it. Tell Ezali to meet us here. I wouldn't be lured into a trap. He nods to himself and glances around at the state of the house. Okay. Should we, like, try and find out if they actually are plotting something? Before we do that? Maybe. Uh, I think I will. Yeah, because we want to have all the information we can for their meeting. I guess we can talk to the sailors, too, since we're going that way. The watchtowers are up by the uh, the exit, right? I'd imagine. Okay. I take it the Hazanui runs a tight ship. Do you ever disagree with orders? Naturally. And I bark about it until the boss tells me to stand down. You Rawatayans aren't much for passive aggression, are you? Who's this? His light shines brightest for those who embrace him. Ever the bright? Ever talk to you? Gone shepherds us all, Trevor. Maybe. Seek out his temple along the sacred stair. I bet I have, actually. So who are these sailors? Are they at the White Mare? Probably. I mean, I'm assuming these are the, the watchtowers. There you are. Zilly. This young man appears either to be composing or practicing a tune on his loot. He stops mid-strum, looking at you with a friendly expression. Condras Nathus. Something I can do for you? He stares at your head with disbelief. Um, I'm trying to clear some Rautain sailors out of the tavern. Where does they like music? I have some questions. Oh, sure. What about? Your family's been having trouble with the Bardatos, right? Guess that means you've spent at least an hour or two in town. You never sought revenge? Not like Martino does, no. My uncle works hard to prove we're not thieves or murderers. I fear that Persa is going to ruin that for us. She's in the thick of something too big for her. Persa? I caught cousin Persa running her mouth off about the job Belda got her involved in. Persa's been spending time in the gullet, in the tavern down there. Maybe she could tell you more. Sorry. I guess you got a mouthful, huh? I really ought to get back to my loot. Okay. Oh God, this is opening up like a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go to the hole as well to talk to Persa. Let's go talk to the sailors here. I'm sure we can just tell them to stop and they'll stop, right? We have Maya with us. That'll help. I think. Maybe not. Okay. So, where are these so-called 
sailors at. Um, he's, they're not talking about you guys, right? Are they upstairs? I'm confused. Where are these guys at? I don't see him up here either. Huh. Where are they supposed to be? Are they hanging out outside? Do they only come out, out at like certain times of the day? That's possible. It's actually kind of probable now that I'm thinking about it. Anything but the Naga's nethers, won't oh. you? I found them. Shrimp. My Arua. The sailor's eyes bulge. He prods his cohorts with an elbow and a shush. They are all standing at attention. Didn't think I'd find you in Queen's birth, did you? At ease, soldier. Maya clasps her hands and squares her stance. Uh, apologies, ma'am. We promise to behave this time. Swallowing, he looks over to you and nods. Defiance Bay, am I right? The sizable Amoa smiles and claps you on the shoulder hard. Who are you again? I was but a face in the crowd. But I remember the one who walked out of Hadron House alive. He claps you on the shoulder again, harder. And this time you recognize an inebri inebriation behind his enthusiasm. He's had more than a few. Perhaps we should go before this ends in rambling professions of love. He leans close to you, speaking low. I must be seeing double elf man, because it's like there's a great big lady crouching on your shoulder. So squints at Aloth and shrugs. Aloth presses his lips together and, for a few seconds, looks as if he's struggling against Ilsimir. To Tokoa, may our enemies crumble under cannon shot. Maya winks at the sailors and raises a fist. The, the sailor tosses back a tankard and wipes his mouth with the back of his sleeve. What are you doing? Captain gave us extra coin to occupy ourselves while we're on leave. We've been draining Valian wine cellars and trying to remember the words of Rawatai anthems. <laughs> Loudly, as often as not. He turns to his compatriots with an uns unrestrained glee. I'm going to need you and your friends to clear out. Do not understand. We have done nothing wrong. The sailor looks from his fellows back to you with a mixture of hurt and confusion. On second thought, you can go about your business. It's nothing personal. There's just an angry ghost right there where you're standing, and I mean to banish it. There's a musician playing his lute by the bridge. Best songs in the district. Uh, sure. At first, at first the sailor look like he's going to fire back with harsh language, but his expression softens. When do he plays any Rawatai songs? Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. He gestures with a jerk of his head. Yeah, they weren't bad people. They didn't want to hurt him. Okay. You want to go just turn that in right now? Yeah, let's go do that now. Ah. Uh, we'll probably have to go back after we talk to Persa. So, or once we do Persa's thing. So let's do that. East, set, east exit. Up to the gullet. To the hole. Okay. Look for Persa. Do you think the hole was already here, or they dug it after they thought up the name? Hmm. It's a good question. It's a Vithrak just hanging out here. Where is she? Second level? Persa. Where are you, Persa?
Um, Zay points me towards his cousin Paris, who frequents a tavern known as the Hole down in the gullet. It's only at night. Unless I missed her down here. She back here? What would you call the color on that meat? Ash? A birda? A worried pig. I'll save you, Onyx. Plus one perception and plus ten all defenses against disease attacks. Nice. Why do you bother me, little kith? Hey, I'm not little. You enjoy working here? No. She hawks a fat gobbet of spit. It lands beside the food she's preparing its bladders. The gullet reeks of illness. The beds are too small. An imp tried to nest in my hair. And Firna, the tavern keeper, refuses to give me more than one day off a month. How am I supposed to hunt when I am chained to this stove? She, she scrunches her face into a grimace. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a pirate. Get myself a bird and an eye patch. The patch could do you a world of good. But I can't say I recommend. Berta silences Maya with a raised palm. Both. She cuts Maya a vicious glare. You should join my crew. How do you mean? She narrows her eyes and regards you with renewed, inter in renewed interest. We need, we've need of a cook, and I admire your uh, work. You know, like on a boat. I'm not daft, you condescending little mite. Tell me why, and in what capacity, I should join your crew. Hefting her tenderizer high, she slams it down on a dubious-looking piece of meat that makes a wet slop sound. We could use a pair of sure hands in the rigging. We cannons are plenty, but not enough hands to man them. My crew hunts a god, and they need someone to feed them. Um, we've cannons aplenty. I do appreciate a well wrought cannon, particularly when several of them fire in sequence and lay waste to the ships of my enemies. She puts a finger on her hips, momentarily thoughtful. So, we draw my crew. I don't work for free. Will this satisfy you? She examines your coin for a moment. They look tiny in her giant hand, almost like a child's plaything. She shrugs. Yeah, uh, this will do. She pats her meat tenderizer for thoughtfully now. and gives you a small nod. Hey, we got a new crewmate. Awesome. Meats of unidentifi or unidentifiable origin are strewn across the counter. Yum. There she is. An armed man stands by the far wall, observing a more lightly clothed woman as she busies herself with a handful of wires. The room falls silent, and you find yourself at the center of attention. We've no intent to disturb you. <laughs> Please carry on. Fire? I don't know this one. She nods toward you. We ask not to be disturbed. What are you doing here? She gri he grips his weapon and studies you closely. Aren't you one of the Bar Bardato's guards? Persa, Zilli mentioned you might know something about the Valera plan. Aren't you one of the Bardata guards? Well, that's the end of subtlety. Bear readies his weapon, his features hardening in a resolute expression. You told me you weren't followed. It's Ali can't know that I was here. Bad news for our new friend. Clenches his jaw and advances. Bear hefts his weapon to square off with you while Persa scrambles for cover. What do you. Service. Come on, man. Like, don't be dumb. And you, you might want to get out of the way. Actually, this is going to hit a lot of people, isn't it? Because it, it hits, like, around him, too. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we'll just get in there, huh? Uh, we'll wait. Hey, oh, sorry you all. Try, yeah, that stunned everybody. Okay, this is not going well, is it? <laughs> Actually did a lot of damage to them, though. 
Yeah, these guys are probably really low level compared to me. Considering this quest is probably like what you do when you first get here. So this is actually probably going to be pretty simple. Leave it to me. Oh. Alright, uh, go ahead and just kill this one. Good to Kehu. Good bit of damage there. Maya. Boom and a boom. A deer. Go ahead, penetrating strike on him. Yeah, so he's almost dead. You guys got nothing to do? Classy, I finish him. Yeah, that's why you should not attack strangers randomly. Just saying. You never know how strong they'll be. And Aloth, go ahead and do one of these. Good. Maya, I think that's the one in the back, the ship right, or spell right. 60 damage. Damn, that's a lot of damage on him. Good. And Classia, finish him off. There we go. Very foolish of him. Vault Schematics. This is a crudely drawn map of the vault underneath the Perdato Estates. In spite of the rough schematic, notes, timetables, and arrows detail the patrol routes of guards while startling, with startling precision. Ah, uh, so they were planning on doing that, huh? You... you killed him! Let me go and I won't say a word about what happened here. Purse's voice quavers. Uh, fearfully, and she's rooted to the spot as if paralyzed. The Bardato sent you, right? No need to kill me over a family tiff, eh? Hello. I'm the one who's going to cut your throat if I catch you anywhere near the Bardato house. Uh, the Bardatos know the plan, and this is your one chance to quit while you're ahead. Relax. What's your part in the Bardato job? You're clearing that muscle. Give me every coin you have, and I'll let you live. Get out of here. You're next. It's nothing personal. Let's go with this one. It's a little bit of a bluff, but... You killed Bayer and call yourself... Ikosi. I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around that one. This job? I'm out. It never happened. She slaps her palms in a dismissive fashion and holds them out, of, out to you. Belda's plan was for everyone to converge on the Bardato vault. You won't find me anywhere near the Bardato fortune. Can we agree that that's worth sparing my life? Yeah, get out of here. I... I think that would be best as well. Consider me gone. Okay. Let's go back to Queen's Birth now. So we gotta go to both houses. We'll go talk to Martino first. Getting kind of late in the episode, but I think we can at least turn these two quests in before we get in the episode. Might have to wait for the resolution to Family Feud until... The next one, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll go a bit longer. 